my name is Larry Grenadier. I play the bass for a long time. Um, since I was about 12 years old. And um, started playing jazz pretty much right away. I liked jazz music uh, as, a, as a kid. I grew up in San Francisco and played with a lot of great musicians out there and moved to uh, Boston for a year in 1990 to play with Gary Burton's band. And then I moved to New York in 1991 from there. Some of the first musicians I, I met were Brad and Brad Meldau, Jorge Rossi, Joshua Redman, Kurt Rosenwinkel. It's been a, yeah, a long musical journey so far and it's great to play with Sebastian and Jonas and to, to, to hear their music and to hear um, a younger generation of musicians who really play very well and have a lot of the foundation together and um, but bring something youthful to the to the music. This is a big question these days because um, a lot of things are called jazz. When you say, you know, if you meet somebody on the street and, they, and you say, oh yeah, I'm a jazz musician, you know, everybody has a little different idea what that means. It's not so clear, which is fine. But to me, it's, um, it's more of an attitude about the way of playing music. Um, there is certain, there's a certain vocabulary that it comes out of, no doubt. A uh, historical tradition that we've all uh, gone through. Um, but at this point, for me, it's more of the attitude, actually. So we could be playing something that is um, uh, repertoire-wise not considered jazz, but the way we play it, somebody would say, oh yeah, that's, to me that's jazz. It's a certain level of communication and, and improvisation, uh, freedom within the song form that to me is really what jazz is. Um, the swing element is definitely a, a, a big part of jazz, but you can be playing music that's not swing based and I think it's still jazz. So I don't think it's so specific to the feel. I think it's really the, the way that the musicians approach the music. That's how I look at it. So it could be playing uh, a Radiohead song, a Duke Ellington song, a Stevie Wonder song, or even a transcription of Bach. And the way we play it would be informed by the way that we've approached all music, which is, you know, it's each time we play it, it's going to be different. We work with many different musicians. On the one side, there are people like Brad Miller, but on the other side, there are extremely young musicians like Joey Alexander. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, um, what have you learned from all these different artists? Well, you know, for me, it's about um, uh, experiencing their, pers their musical personality on stage or in the studio. Because what, what we're talking about, what jazz means to me, what happens in that, in that environment of freedom is that you can express yourself. So wh whoever I'm playing with, it's really about meeting them, you know, who they are in that moment of playing together. So whether it's somebody who's 75 or somebody who's 12, you know, it's, it's going to be that journey of figuring out who they are. Um, so somebody like Joey, you know, it's, it's kind of amazing that uh, somebody that young can have the, uh, the ability to, to the, the maturity to express themselves like that and to also to really be an improvising musician. It's nothing um, set. It's not worked out. It's, it's completely in the moment, you know. So uh, it's the same, you know, it's really about meeting these people in the music and then having this dialogue. Oh, I mean, everywhere, I, from uh, all the great bass players I grew up listening to, my contemporaries, people I've played with that are, you know, more my age, you know, um, all types of music, classical music, jazz, uh, R&B, rock and roll, everything, you know, and this is the beautiful thing about jazz, you know, is that it really kind of eats off of every other music and it's all valid. It's not like forbidden fruit, you know, you can, you can take a bit of it 
bring it into our world and it's really how we play with it like I was saying before. So all these influences to me are really keep the music fresh and, and keep me inspired and keep me um, keep my ear developing so that I hear more inside the music hopefully. Um, you know, not, not one, it was really uh, the ability, for the, I was very fortunate that I could play with really great musicians quite young, you know, people that, um, you know, I, I probably shouldn't have been playing with, you know, I wasn't quite ready, but I had that experience, and so I really saw really quickly what the potential was to play. Like, if I could just continue to grow as a musician on my instrument, then I could get closer to this idea of being, uh, to, to, to getting to what I saw these older musicians could do. And so the inspiration was right next to me. You know, it was on record too, but it was also playing with people and sharing a bandstand with people who were on a very high level. And so, you know, quite young I saw that that's what I was striving towards. And it's kind of just been that the whole time. It's always been to try to play with great musicians, to get the inspiration from them, to learn from them how to get deeper into the music. And um, it just continues like that for me. I just wanna, I wanna find myself in, in situations where I can continue to, to grow as an instrumentalist.